My name is Zasiri, and this is my tale. I remember a night when I was a cub. Some men came into my home, grey skin and pointed ears. Dunma. I remember the noise, the screams, and the taste of fear. I watched as these men slaughtered my parents, and they took me, frightened, to a land called Morrowind. I spent eight years in this strange land, shackled, forced to do their bidding, beaten regularly and mocked, by a man who called himself my master, and by men and women he associated with, associates from something called House Lalu. And there is a name, a name etched into the fibers of my being. The name is Orvas Dren. One night, a fateful opportunity led to my escape. I fled across the border into Cyrodiil, but an unfortunate turn of events led to further incarceration. I was cold, desperate, and hungry. I broke into a farmhouse to look for food. Regrettably, I was discovered, and in a moment of blind panic, I lashed out, killing the poor farmer. I ran and ran and ran. But eventually, lost, frightened, and exhausted, I was caught by a patrol, and I was incarcerated in the Imperial City. For seven years I was again a captive. But I met a man inside that prison, and by a cruel twist of ironic fate that man was a Dunmer. His name was Cedrin Villis. I learned, however, that not all Dunmer are the same. After a time I discovered that Cedrin was in fact a kind old man who opposed slavery. In time, he became my friend. This Dunman mentored me and taught me many things for which I will be eternally grateful. He helped me devise a plan, a plan to return to Morrowind, the only place I could unburden myself of the hate I carried, to finally find peace. He taught me about patience, about influence, about power. He taught me to control my deep rage without letting go of my desire for justice and retribution. He taught me how to use my enemy's flaws against them, to become one of them, to get them to lower their guard before I strike, destroy them from the inside. He taught me that House Lalu were greedy and manipulative. Their self-centered self-interest would allow me a way in. Gain their trust, he implored me. Learn how to appear useful, influential, and wealthy. This is what appeals to these people. He also bade me seek out organizations called the Morag Tong and the Thieves Guild of Morrowind. There would be skills I would need to develop and these people would be able to help me. Get to Balmora as soon as you can, he said. We were also working on an escape plan, but I regret to say Cedrin did not make it. He had been sick and it worsened as the days passed. One morning he just did not wake from his slumber. I was devastated and starting to lose hope of escape when something strange and unexplained occurred. The Emperor sanctioned my early release for reasons unbeknownst to me. Something about an errand in Morrowind. An errand, I hasten to add, that I have no intention of carrying out. I will gladly take passage aboard the ship to my destination, but once I have my freedom, that is where my cooperation ends. This, this, this Dunmer, Orvis Dren, stole everything from me. My family, my heritage, my culture. It is with great sadness and a heavy heart that I admit, I do not know what it means to be a Khajiit. I do not even sound like a Khajiit, having been ripped from my culture and upbringing. I do not know who I am, other than an arrow flying through time towards the names of Halalu and Dren. I have returned to Morrowind for one reason, and one reason only. Revenge.